Hey guys, it's Michelle from Washed Up Creations. Howdy do. I'm going to show you how to create, design a wire wrapped with charm sea glass pendant. Okay, this is our sea glass. You might recognize this piece of sea glass from my how to drill sea glass video. He's famous. Um, and I just have this cute seahorse charm. Um, check on Etsy.com for the greatest, cutest little charms you could ever find, or eBay. Okay, so this is 20 gauge wire. It's just like a non-tarnish wire. Uh, 20 gauge is the easiest to work with, and you can get that at any craft store, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, any of that good stuff. I cut a long piece. It is about, I would say, 24 inches. It's always to be safe and cut more than you think you might need. All right, so this is already drilled, of course, and I line up the charm, which also has a hole, of course, right with the hole on the sea glass, and I thread them through. Okay, now the bale was already made. Um, it's not really a bale yet, it's just... Uh, it's just kind of like a loop and I actually have a video how to make a simple wire bale and it's really easy to follow and easy to do so I'm going to push that all the way through leaving about oh I don't know what that is maybe an eighth of an inch I hope my text messages coming in are not showing up on my video okay and I'm going to bend it up like so Okay, and you're holding the charm snugly with your thumb. And from here, you know, this, let me just snip this a tiny bit. I think I made this wire way longer than 24 inches. Okay, so, okay, so there it is. You're going to bring this wire to the side of that loop pointing back. Okay, you're going to bring it all the way behind to the back of the piece of sea glass like so. Okay, so I just pulled it to the rear and I'm holding it down, okay? And I'm going to take my long nose pliers. I'm gonna maybe go a little bit less than halfway down. I'm gonna pinch the wire and just bend. So we have a 90 degree angle there, okay? And from here I start wrapping, okay? So I'm still holding that charm snugly and I'm pressing it and wrapping it to the front, wrapping it across our little seahorse, wrapping to behind, wrapping to the front, and really it's up to you. You can go below again. It's kind of like a caged up little seahorse, okay? Wrap it as many times as you want, but not too much because you want to be able to have some wire left. Now I'm going to move it towards the top here. See I'm wrapping again and I'm going to keep it to the rear. See how much wire I have? I would say, what is that? It's about four inches. Leave about four inches of a tail. So I stop the, the, um, the wrapping to the rear. I'm going to take my long nose pliers again pinch and this time bend it up so now you have the wire pointing up I'm still holding it to the rear and from this point I'm going to start to wrap it around the bale around the stem of that loop wrapping wrapping as many times as you want it's really pretty when it starts to stack this does not have to be perfect. It looks perfect because it's imperfect. It's just, this is handmade stuff, people. Okay. And you have your pretty sea glass wire wrap pendant. Okay, it's not done yet because you have that sticky part. And you are going to go to part two to see the ending of that. However, it's going to be a different looking pendant. It's going to have a starfish, but it's going to be the same exact technique. And it's going to pick up from this part. 